What up guys, it is Justice here and welcome to a brand new video on my channel, this one in relation to the Soul Reaper update which was released yesterday the 18th of August 2014 and this is where Death himself sets you a boss monster task and you will do this on a daily basis now. I'm going to get straight into this video, this video is going into depth. Um, around the rewards in which you can receive from obtaining the Soul Reaper points. Uh, so I'm going to get straight into this video and I uh, hope you enjoy. Right, so completing assignments for death earns you a modest amount of Slayer experience and a sum of Reaper points which can be used to purchase some smashing rewards or a refresh. Items offer a one-time reset of a combat aura on cooldown. You can use once per day and they come in a variety of tiers relating to the tiers of the auras they affect. So potentially if you want to, you're going to have to get the supreme aura refresh to match up with a supreme runic accuracy potentially. No? Alright, so um, yeah, aura refresh, that looks pretty cool. I'll use that for supreme runic accuracy and sharpshooter potentially. Death deal is a consumable item that reduces the degrade, uh, degradation of armor and weapons by 50% of your next death. Decent, but will not use because I've got an item of portent, a portent of item protection. Uh, so again, probably not gonna use that. Uh, permanently decrease instant cost by 25%. That's really good. That'll be useful for a So if you guys don't have anyone who can hold the instance for you, that'll be extremely useful, 25%. Um, so that'll get you 50K off uh, an instance at a rack So rather than spending 200K, you'll be spending 150K. That's quite nice. Uh, permanently increased bonfire health boost duration by 25%. That's a big boost. Rainbow loot beams allow you to highlight your valuable drops with a cascade of colour. <laughs> Fair enough. Can you imagine getting a seismic one with a rainbow loot? That'd be pretty cool. Death's deal is only one time. Yeah, that's terrible. That sounds really bad. Unlock the ability to buy extra soul reaper assignments in exchange for your spare slayer points. I really do like the sound of that. That sounds interesting, that one. I could use that one because, again, I'm 99 Slayer now. I really don't care about the Slayer points, but I'll just be doing this to get the rewards. This will come in extremely handy because you can only, at the moment, get one Soul Reaper task per day for a boss fight, uh, which a lot of people were unhappy about when it's been released, but at the end of the day, it can be too overpowered. They're obviously putting it out there as a daily thing to do, a daily task. You do have to unlock it first, though. It costs about 150 Soul Reaper points to actually unlock it, and then you can use Slayer points to unlock more Soul Reaper tasks. Incomplete Hydrix is a new gem that can be combined with an Onyx, then made into powerful equipment. See, I knew I was getting on something. With my loot from uh, Ten Triskelion Keys, I created the Onyx Dragon Onyx. Um, where I kept saying that by accident and I knew I just had a feeling inside there was gonna be a new type of Gemstone and here it is an incomplete Hydrix gemstone Level 79 plus crafters among you can create jewelry from this completed Hydrix gem um, And at level 87 magic you can use the level 6 enchantment spell to create the following ring of death a Reaper necklace or a death touch bracelet and the amulet of souls Wow some really good rewards here guys, very very interesting. This Amulet of Souls um, sounds very interesting, it gives you a chance to heal 25-50% to 50 extra from Soul Split. That's huge, that that is a huge amount. That would be very useful for Kiln, Fight Kiln, uh, which I'm going to be doing a lot of recently, uh, moving forward. That would be extremely useful, it gives you a chance to heal 25-50% to 50 extra from Soul Split. So again, one thing to note, all of these pieces of jewellery, they do last for only around 10 hours worth of combat, but still 10 hours isn't too bad. Uh, that's around 20 fight kilns there if you're doing 30 minute fight kilns. There we go. Finally, there are a bunch of cool cosmetic rewards granted once you put down a certain number of the bosses included in Soul Reaper. These include two titles, the Reaper and the final boss title, and a full set of cosmetic overrides, the Vanquish Armor. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this update video around the Soul Reaper task master for boss slayer task which is pretty awesome um, again there's a lot of pros and cons to this update i think a lot of people expected more from this update but again it is just a daily um a daily task to carry out it's not they didn't want it to become a they didn't want it to take over slayer essentially because they knew everybody would choose the beasts or most people would anyway um who love pvm and would go to god wars dungeon to carry out zamorak um, an armadil boss just to do those tasks so uh, it is going to be very appealing to quite a few people but again it's just a daily task i do like this new interface i'm going to be going into this new interface in terms of tracking your boss monster kills uh, but i'm going to do that in a separate video to do with the final boss episode number one um so yeah look forward to that one that will be out in the next day or so as well 
Uh, but again guys, I hope you enjoyed this update video. As you can see as well, I do have a Noxious staff equipped at the moment. That's because I was doing some fight kiln with it. I'm going to go into that in another video as well because I did actually use a Noxious staff for fight kiln and I also then used Seismics and I'll tell you what the outcome was in my next video. So thanks a lot guys for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Take care.